Today is everything day. It's bodybuilding day. And uh, hitting like all my weak muscles. I think when you work out and you have one of those down days or down weeks, for sure it sucks, you know? Whether that's you just have a down day, you haven't slept enough, you're on a caloric deficit, cutting, whatever, or you're wearing your CNS out, it all sucks. And I think it sucks the most when it's a combination of all of them. I'm tired. I've been on a cut, so I've been eating really clean. And I'm on a probably like five to six hundred calorie deficit every day. And boy, am I tired. The last three months, I was on a super bulk. I was eating McDonald's, ice cream, whenever I wanted. I was probably taking in like six to seven thousand calories a day. And I got from 171 up to 205 in about a two to three months. And I got the strength that I wanted, but now I gotta lose all this excess fat that I don't really want and I don't really need. So my diet's been about 2,000 to about 2,300 calories, give or take, every single day. Super low intake on carbs, like under 200 grams of carbs. And I've been trying to keep my fats low, protein's high. My numbers are getting a little bit weaker or I can hit the same numbers, but it's not as fast or I don't hit as confidently. <laughs> Can't see no hamstrings back there, that's for sure. But I think that's also the fun part, is how shitty it is, and when you're able to push through it, and when you look back, and you see the new you, and you're like, fuck, man, that was, those were some hard times, but they were good, and I pushed through it. And I think half the times when you're working out, it's like, yeah, you're training yourself physically, but more importantly, you put your body through shit so you can train your mind and you make yourself strong mentally. And all of the mental resilience that I've developed in the gym has helped transfer out into the real world when sometimes shit isn't going the right way or like I'm low on cash or whatever the fuck it is, right? My loved ones die, my grandpa dies. The mental resilience that I've had from overcoming all the peaks and valleys in the gym really transfers over and it's keeps you strong internally. So I always see all of these challenges of diet or bad days as just one way to test yourself and make yourself stronger. Time to go to fucking war. And I let the goofing around and the socializing happen after at least I get one set in or once I'm in the zone, let the adrenaline kick in, let all my body get physically ready. When we get pumped up, I like to get like fucking demonic, you know? I try to bring the devil out of me like, fuck! Like I try to like breathe fire and like have fucking fangs grow out and I'm, I'm ready to fucking bite a water buffalo in the neck. But I don't know how the fuck she gets pumped up. I think she listens to fucking Trey songs or something. <laughs> I don't know. But she is different. So when I try to pump her up, she says it's comedic. It just becomes comedy when he does it. <laughs> I just want to laugh. I apologize. I know you. Because I hated it so much, I stopped working out with him. That's why he has his own station. I have my own station. And then when I have questions as to what's on the paper, that I've come to realize that the paper's pretty much useless because every time I'm about to follow what's on the paper, he's like, what are you doing? I thought I told you like last week that we're gonna do this. And I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna remember what you said last week. I just go according to the paper because that's what I thought the paper was for. But I guess I just have to be more flexible because I have to remember that. It's a real life game plan, it's a fucking shit. I have to remember that whatever's on the paper is pretty much useless because I should check every single step by step. So you're telling me after the constitution is written, we should not add any amendments. That's what you're trying to say. Stupid. He totally hit his head on the bar and he missed it. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Awesome. I did it. I did it. He kept talking shit and he hit his forehead on the bar. Thank you, God. The funny thing is, like, when she's lifting, I actually get more emotional than she does. Like, when she, like, when she hits a PR, I'm like, 
fuck yeah. And I'm always the one giving her a mean ass high five. And she's like, ah, fuck, why'd you give it to me so hard? I was like, fuck, I'm so fucking happy for you, you know? You know how I am? I'm, I'm like the dude that watches sports at a bar. When they make a touchdown, I made a fucking touchdown. And I'm like, fuck yeah, pound, pound the pint glass, the fucking beer spills all over the place. But all my bros don't give a fuck. Everyone's spilling motherfucking beers everywhere. And it's fun, but for her, she's at like a fucking dun, 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 So it's a fucking atmosphere is a little bit different. Cause what I want to do is I like probably like rip your hair out too to give you some extra pain to motivate you, but but you don't let me rip your hair out. Someone else has to lift, give her a lift off. I can't watch this. It's too emotional. Today I'm doing lakes and uh, I'm doing some speed work and then I'm gonna be doing some, I wrote it down on a piece of paper so I don't have to remember these things. 